It might not look it, but these two bits of music will sound exactly the same. The top one is in 3-4, which is simple triple time, and the bottom one is in 9-8, which is compound triple time. In 3-4 you have three crotchets per bar, and in 9-8 you have three dotted crotchets per bar. So the trick to understanding how to switch between them is to understand what the beat is. If we circle the beats, this makes one beat because of the triplet, this makes one beat, and this makes one beat too, again because of the triplet. In compound time we're counting dotted crotchets, so this makes one beat, this makes one beat, and this makes one beat. So what you'll notice is in simple time, if you want to fit three things into a beat evenly, you'll need a triplet, but in compound time you won't. And similarly, if you want to have one note that lasts the whole beat in compound time, you'll need a dot, but in simple time you won't. Here's an example of how it looks in the grade 5 theory exam. It's multiple choice now, so just circle the beats and work out which one is right. This one can't be right because it would need a triplet, and this one can't be right because it shouldn't have a dot in that rest.